Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. The game is visually stunning. We all know this. However, some features like orbit lines can impact the immersion and the visual spectacle that is the game. But they're a valid part of the game, because if you get too close to that planet or moon, you'll get caught in the gravity well, and the next thing you know, you're creeping towards your destination. Well, I didn't know this, and now I do. We're going to see how to turn orbit lines on and off by assigning a quick keybind. Thanks for sticking with us for another episode of Well, I Didn't Know That. Well, I kind of did, really, but it's a good thing to make a video on, because a lot of people don't. The orbit lines can also be switched on from the right-hand panel by going into ship and down to where the little symbol of elite is and the pilot preferences, and then selecting orbit lines on or orbit lines off, providing whether you want your orbit lines on or off. But that's a little bit laborious, don't you think? Wouldn't it be so much easier if we could just assign a hotkey to it? Well, as some of you do know, the hotkey menu is a myriad of different options. You've got ship options, you've got ground options, you've got on foot options, you've got general options. All these options can be quite daunting. If you don't know certain aspects exist in there, then like I say, it can be laborious. So we're going to get ourselves into ship controls and we're going to navigate all the way down to flight miscellaneous. And at the bottom of flight miscellaneous, you can see orbit lines right there. Now I've got mine assigned to the equals sign, which is quite apt for me because I never use the equal sign for anything else. And that's where one of the trials and tribulations of the key menu actually exists. Getting a key that's not been assigned. There needs to be something done there so you can just look instantaneously say, ah, yes, I haven't used that key. Let's use that key. And then by pressing the equals key, you can have orbit lines on and then orbit lines off. Or again, if you want to do it the laborious way, you can go to the right hand panel, go to ship, down to pilot preferences and do it the old fashioned way. And then total immersion can be yours. And then flight assistance can also be yours at the touch of a key. Well, there you go. Just a short video on this. I hope new and old commanders alike have found it useful. I've been Ricardo. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.